Hi, my name is Will Gardella. I'm a product manager at Couchbase and I want to show you a demo of full text search in Couchbase. So to start out with, I'm assuming you've already installed Couchbase. You're going to need some sample data. If you don't have it installed already, you can go here to the sample buckets, click on beer sample. We'll use that one today. It happens to have some good data in it. It's going to load in here. When that's going, I'm going to go over here. Let's see if there are documents in it. This doc, this data set also happens to have some nice things about it. In this bucket, you have uh, the first two results are of different types. There are documents of type brewery and documents of type beer. And if you go in here and click on the edit, you can actually see these. And there are a couple of things I want to point out. So there's the type description. Uh, the type definition there is this is a is a field, and in full text search we treat that specially. I'm going to show you that first, and then we're going to need to look for some good data that we can index. So if you look right here, you can see there's a description field that's got lots of nice text in it. Now I happen to know that in this data set there are uh, also documents of type beer, and those also have a description field. So I'm going to show you that in the, in a second. But first, let's just target the brewery document. Okay. Um, let's go over here. I'm going to use a different tab for this. I'm going to show you, we go to the indexes, and on indexes you're going to click on full text, and then to create an index you're going to go here, new full text index, you've got to give it a name. Let's start off with the name breweries. Let's go down here, select our bucket, First thing we do, we create a type mapping. We're going to add one, type brewery, not breweries plural, but brewery because that has to match this exactly. I'm going to turn on the only index specified fields. That means instead of, of indexing everything that's in there, it's only going to index the ones we ask it to do. I'm going to click OK. Down here, I'm going to turn off the default indexing. That way I don't get indexing of the beers, I only am going to get indexing of the breweries. And I'm going to go over here, and if you look over here you can do two things. The child mapping that you use for structures, like if uh, I go back here there's this geo thing. But let's keep it simple for right now, I'm just going to use a child field. This is for description. I'm going to keep it a type text. I'm not going to mess around with analyzers right now. Um, I could change it to an English analyzer, um, but I'm just going to leave it at the default. And then down here you see some advanced things. What I want to do here is turn on store. And if you're trying this out, you're going to probably want to do the same thing. What store does is it's going to make your index a little bit bigger, but it's going to make it easier for you to search. Uh, and debug things. So since this is a small data set, I'm just going to turn it on uh, and I'll show you what it does in a second. And that's it for me. Right now that's good enough. Um, if you ever need to change the attribute that the type mapping is targeting, you can do that down here in the advanced. So this is mapping for type. We flip back over here. We can see the attribute is called type, but if it was called underscore type, we would just go back here and switch this to underscore type. Okay, so create index, go ahead. Now on this tab we can see the information of the index, we can see things like its unique ID. If you go down here you can actually see the index definition. So this is the JSON that has to be passed in and to make it even easier you can just grab the command down here. This tells you exactly, you can just run this in your terminal window you create the same index definition that we just created by hand. Okay. Um, while we've been talking, the index has built. Um, it's only 7,000 documents, so it's pretty quick, and we uh, limited it. Um, this can be a little counterintuitive, but you have to click back here on full text again, and then you go to breweries, and now we should be able to type in something here. Um, let's see. Uh, Let's type in the word light um, and see what we have. So that only matched uh, three, three breweries. 
Um, and remember when I told you that you want to turn on store, what store does is it writes the actual res um, fields into the index itself. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to do things like result snippets, which are what these are, uh, highlighting, so the words that we actually entered are in there. Uh, if we turn if we turn in something like grill, um, interesting, no results come back. So if we, let's try it, a thing like brewery, um, and then we have a number of, of results that come back here. So we have a lot more results, um, but they're all highlighted. Now, you can also do things in here. I, I mentioned in, a, in an overview video that this is the query string query. Um, the query string query right here, uh, you might not know it's a query string query, but you can do things like say, I only want ones that don't have the word brewery in them. Um, get a bunch of empty descriptions. Uh, that's not so helpful. So let's say, uh, try warm, no results. Try light again, and let's get rid of the word golden. And so that's filtering out things. Uh, and uh, you can also do other kinds of uh, things here, like you can boost things. For example, if I take the word fair and I give that a boost of two, um, it's going to show up higher in the results than things that don't have it. Um, but the scoring is actually a little bit tricky. Um, so if I turn that off, presumably the scoring of things is going to change. And now things are down there below. You can always see the details of the scoring here. Um, and the important part about the scoring is that you can't compare it across queries. But for a single query, you're going to see the documents with the highest scores coming first um, and I can talk I'll talk about that more in a different video um, I also wanted to point out here that if you do things like uh, let's go back to boosting the score here um, if you click here you can also see the JSON for the query that we're passing in so you can see light fair and the boost is on here. You can also click here and you can get the curl. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this out and I'm going to switch to a terminal window here for a second. Uh, I'm going to go paste this in and I'm getting a bunch of messy results back because I haven't formatted this in any way. But this is the same result that we're seeing there if I Pipe, if I were to pipe that through JQ or something, you'd be able to see uh, that it's the same result. So that's a very quick whirlwind tour uh, that gives you the basics. Um, there's a lot more we could show you, but this is a short video. Uh, please let us know what you think. You can get a hold of me at uh, on Twitter at Will Gardella or Will Gardella, will.gardella at couchbase.com. Thanks.